Hello and welcome back to the Selling Dan. So I've got something a little bit different for you all today, which I'm rather excited about. Took a while to come, but as I mentioned in a previous video, if you've watched it, um, I wanted to do something a little bit different and I wanted to try a palette of returns. So, guess what? I bought one and it has arrived today. Unfortunately for you lot, I couldn't get it recorded when it was actually arriving. They were meant to deliver it on a Tuesday, they've delivered it the Thursday instead. I wasn't in, um, so it's just been left up the drive uh, and waited till I got home, which I'm not too happy about because I wanted to get the whole experience on camera and everything happening. But, by the by, it happened, hopefully, my wife Amy, she got a few pictures it was, as it was coming in, um, so we'll put them on the screen uh, as we're going. But, so we got it delivered today. Uh, in total, I paid £180 for this palette, uh, which isn't too bad. That was, um, the the auction itself cost around, about, I think it cost £70 in total for the palette, but they had 45% on for um, like VAT and auction fees, which is a bit hefty. So that got it up to like, you know, 105, 100, 105, and then they put a £55, £65 fee on top of that and then an admin fee as well so in total it worked out 180 pound uh which i don't think is too bad um but i want you guys to come along with me um see what's happening you know i haven't opened it yet you'll see in a minute it's still sealed it's still everything's as is um so i want to just show you guys open it up and see what's inside i know it's a toys return palette i know there is some lego possibly and some other bits. So it gives me a description. So I bought all these off of a company called William George Auctions. Um, if any of you want to have a look at that, the William George Auctions online, uh, you've got to sign up and they do like a lot of returns palettes. So John Lewis, uh, Smythe's, different ones like that. So this is a Smythe's, I believe, or it might be John Lewis Toy Department. Uh, their returns. So the weird thing about this one is it could be for returns for anything. So even if the person has bought it, but can no longer afford it or don't want the item anymore, once it's returned, that is classed as a return item, obviously. But they don't put that back on the shelf. So if it's brand new, nothing been opened on it, it still goes in this palette, um, or any palette. Uh, but also they send out ones that have been sent back if they're defective. They send one back that have been open, used for a while, and the person no longer wants it. So it's a risky it's a risky strategy, to be fair. It's not... It, it, it's it's it, it, to be fair, I'd class it as hundred percent risk. There's there's quite a lot that could go wrong. The RRP on these, uh, I think this one was around about seven hundred eight hundred pound. Um, so I paid one eighty, and they predict if everything's brand new, you'll get about eight hundred nine hundred pound out of it. So uh, we'll see how we get on. Uh, I hope you like this video. Something different, something like I mentioned. Uh, hopefully, I do well from it. I, I'm I'm not expecting anything. I'm I'm really not. I, I'm I'm in two minds about this whether it's going to work or not. Um, but we'll see what happens. And you know, just let me know in the comments below what what you actually think. What what if you think I'm going to get the value back? What toys are coming out? Different things like that. And uh, you know, we'll we'll see how we get on. But uh, well. Let's get opening this time. Let's get opening and see what happens. We'll we'll, we'll go through it all together. I, I don't know what's going to happen. I'm a bit excited. So let's see what happens. So I'm just outside, and as you can see, here it's said pallet. It's quite big. You know, it's up to up to my my hip, and I'm six foot eight. So uh, you know, it's a, it's a decent size, um, but it's covered in a bit of rain because they decided to do it while I wasn't here. So. You know, I might put you all down a minute just while I, uh, I try and get this open. So just let me find a place for you all and I'll put you back up. Let's get into it. Let's get unwrapping. Oh, I really don't know how this is going to go. Let's see, let's see what happens. You're all coming for the big opening? I'm not sure. I'm, I don't, honestly, I didn't think it was this much stuff. There's two big boxes of stuff. I mean, I'm not guaranteeing that they fall to the top, but whew, let's see how we get on. So, first one opened. So, so, the first item I've pulled out is this Barbie. But there's a main reason why I bought this pallet um, and why I took the risk is because it's at the bottom, right at the bottom here. Can you see it? Lego. Can you see that Lego? So, 
Hopefully, that's a complete. I think it's a McLaren. Um, but we'll see what it is. I'll have to get it out. It's quite a big box. But hopefully, it's complete. Hopefully, someone's had it and just not. Just doesn't want it. I'm not sure. I don't know. But anyway, let me just show you the other side. So, quite a lot of outdoor activity stuff. So, pools. I'm hoping are all right and people have just bought them uh, just at the end of summer and summer's changed so we'll see i'm gonna put you down in here uh, and then let's let's see how we get on you know i'll just keep bringing items in and we'll go from there all right i'm gonna put you back up here not seem fair so at the minute i've just took out these ones so there's three pools and a water ta table and a scooter now with these uh, let me show you so this was returned on the third of the eighth so it actually says top ring kept deflating so that automatically means but obviously it's not very good but the weird thing is is that do not look like it's been out and i know well everyone knows once you get a paddling pole out of a box that thing ain't going back in so unless harry houdini's put it all back together let's uh, let's keep hoping that it actually does work one. See, that's what I'd expect. So that's a paddling pole. Now that's what I'd expect of a paddling pole. It's been inflated and doesn't work. So let's see. Another one. Big paddling pole. I'm assuming it doesn't work. Swing ball set. Looks like it's been opened, full swing ball set, so um uh, see if all the pieces are there. I'm not I'm unsure, I don't know yet. Wooden family set. Just open it to see. Looks like they're all there, just assuming someone didn't want it anymore. And again, another one would not inflate, but still in the packet, so we'll see. And a little globe. Don't know. Doesn't sound very good. Ah. So I know what's happened to these ones. So there's damage in the corner. So they'll have been stacked badly or something like that, and they just won't want to sell them with the damage to the corner. So they're brand new, not been used. It looks like there's a few of them in there that's been damaged, so hopefully they're worth a little bit of money. Tell you what, let's search it now. While you're all here. So each one of them is £20. Looks like there's three of them in here, and they've just, just got a bit of damage to the top corner, so see how we get them. Box down. Another pole by the looks of it. So another one of these yet. A bit of damage on the corners, but nothing major. Cleaning set, but John Lewis doesn't look like it's been opened. Looks like there's nothing wrong with it. Oh, I can see the Lego. One of them. Now, uh, Barbie. Oh, I'm recording here, Kate. Go on. Where am I? Well, you're not on it. I'll put you out. Ah. Bye, Pim. Have fun. See you later. Oh, she's nice. See you later, Pim. So, back onto Barbie, I've just got to back out again. So let's scan her, and see what she's coming out at. So again, like a 20 quid Barbie, so not too bad, just a little bit of damage on the top corner. That's why it's been sent out or not been sent out. Just 
John Lewis rocket set. No idea if it's good, bad, until I open it. I think I can safely say that there's no bubbles left in there. So, that's for the bin. Now that's been, <laughs> that's been returned. God knows why, but it's been opened and it's been sent in this pallet and there's no bubbles in it, so that's going in the bin. Squeeze ball creator. No idea, looks like it's been opened. Looks like they've actually made a few and then sent it back. Don't know, I'll have a look into that one. So. That's a ticket on the inside of this one, so we'll get that out in a minute. So, this one says, the car will not charge. So, they've got the charger in it. It's got a charger. Just a little off-road vehicle. So, we'll see how we get on with that one. I'll see if it does charge. Police car just looks like the box has been damaged. Unfortunately, everyone, I'm not seeing much value in what I'm getting out, but I'm only 180 quid in, so we'll see what see how we're doing, you know. We'll, we'll keep going. Another remote control car. Looks like, what is it? Looks like a, ah, it's a Bentley. Bentley remote control car. I'm assuming it doesn't work. Like it's got no aerial, so that's the first thing I noticed, so that's probably not... Another good one. Another ride on scoop. So I've got two of these now. See if they actually are fully functioning. Electronic keyboard. So this was sold for £45. So there's a bit here. Again, does not work. But a lot of these times they actually do work, it's just people aren't actually checking them. So I'll check this out and see what see what happens with that one. Oh, last two. Two more things in this box. I'm gonna leave the one the good stuff till last. So a VTEC, my kids had these when they were younger. It works absolutely fine, just the box is damaged, so that's probably about ten pounds there. And for the final bit. Oh. McLaren Lego. There's no receipts on it, there's nothing, so that's a full McLaren. Uh, don't know, don't know what's wrong with it, so let's find out. Let's go in there and see what we've got. So, I'll be honest, in between all this, this has been quite a long time since getting it and actually then properly processing it. I've just been really busy. Uh, trying to get things um, ready and sorted and going through death piles and that I just haven't had a chance to finish this video off so I apologise a different top everything like that so just an update on what's actually happened so since then I haven't touched it I've just left it in the unit and just left it there not touched it so um, the Lego once I opened it was totally complete so what had happened it looks like someone's got it they've opened the tyres the big, the big tyres that come with it, but nothing else. So all the packets were still sealed, everything was fine, the instructions were still sealed, it looked like they'd opened the tyres and gone, yeah, it's probably not for me. Uh, it's quite an expensive piece, and I think it's about £120 new, uh, or £130. So, uh, that one's already sold, uh, it's just about to be shipped, um, and that's going to America for £100 uh, plus shipping. Uh, so that's not too bad. So, you know, out of the 180, I've got around about £88 back from that one. We once eBay took the fees off and everything like that. Um, so, just going while we're here, these um, they're called Gazillion Premium Bubbles. I'll just do a quick scan here. So, I have three of these, all just been. <sighs> Oh, right. so, so they've just been damaged slightly, so it's like they've stored them, one of the ones that they've stored above them has um, leaked, and so they've, they've just discontinued the rest of them. So there's nothing wrong with this one, it works absolutely fine, the bubble mix is still full, uh, and you know these sell for, what are we selling for? Sorry. 
so these are 28.99 new so with the condition that they're in i'll probably sell this for around about i'd say like 16 pound 16.65 so uh ties that by three uh so let's call it 20 quid just for quick so you've got 60 pounds worth of bubble machines minus the, the percentage off you know so we've got 50 quid there so 88 plus 50 you know you're at 130 so i'm just relying on a few other things uh, <coughs> <coughs> sorry i've got a sore throat so i opened the two scooters one of them is complete the pink one so the john lewis scooter the pink John Lewis scooter actually sells for so they in the shops that is fifty pound, uh, so that is new in there. And there's ones that have sold here for thirty pound used. So I'll probably be pitching that around about thirty five plus shipping. Uh, one of them doesn't have the handlebars, so that's just a bin job. Just get rid of it, get gone. There's no well, I'll, I'll save the box obviously, uh, but they're just a scooter. It's just a base, so that'll have to go in the bin. Um, other things, the keyboard, so that's plus another forty pounds. So you know you're minus the fees, but thirty-five. So you're at one seventy-ish, roughly like that. I'll I'll make sure the figures all all add up at the end. Um, so at one seventy out of the one eighty-two or one eighty-four that I was at, uh, the swing ball is totally complete. So I'd imagine used condition. That's probably like a fifteen twenty pound. The keyboard doesn't work. That was correct. But however, there is three brand new pools there, um, so they'll sell anywhere between fifteen and twenty pounds as soon as I put them up. You know, especially even if I have to wait till summertime, they will definitely sell if we have a good summer. So I'm not too concerned about that one. The VTEC baby does work absolutely fine, new in packaging, just a bit crunkled on top, but nothing major. So that'll be like a ten pound item there. Uh, there's like this activity bucket which is missing a spade but retail on those i think when i look we're about 15 pound but obviously i'm not going to say it like that i'll just send this up with to ridlington with me and the kids and the kids will get some enjoyment out of this but this is one of the main reasons why i went for a toy one uh i wouldn't have it wouldn't be my first choice but it was a good cheap deal the lego drew me in um and made it spark my interest but i thought if there's anything in here that's partly missing or not working or anything like that. Like this little car, little police car, 100% works. It's absolutely fine. The package you were buying, someone just didn't want it. Uh, you know, my son will love that. Uh, so, you know, I'm getting more out of it than it's thing. The Barbie that we're crashing the corner. My daughter's just getting into Barbie. So, we her selling that one on. We've given her as a birthday present. So, you know, there's, 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 there's been some good bits from here. There's a few John Lewis bits back there. So, in total, I'd say I'd made a little bit of money. Nothing major. I've definitely got my money back. The Lego, thankfully, being complete has, has sorted that out. But um, I'm not saying that I'm I'm very rich from coming out of it. You know, it's probably not been worth while or worth a time. But it's been. I, I don't know. It's it's been good. You know, there's some things that I can take back to a car boot as well. Some stuff that's just slightly, you know, not right. This little car. It does charge up. It's absolutely fine. They've just not. They've just. What I think what they've done is not put batteries in there because the whole compartment's new. Uh, so I don't think they put charge batteries in there, thinking that it's all charged itself. Um, and actually, you can actually tell it's been used. So very strange one on that one. But that one works fine. I'll probably take that one back to a car boot because it's not worth putting online. You know, I'll get like three, four quid for it. Uh, and same with some of the other items, I'll get three, four quid for them as well at a car boot. Uh, so yeah, not worth. You know, making money, but just an experiment for this. If I was looking again and I went through William George, I'd definitely be getting an electricals return palette, not a toy palette. Um, which is what the main reason I went on William George was to get a ret uh, electrical returns, but I just got blinded by the Lego. Uh, and to be fair, the electrical returns ones were going for like five, six hundred pound a palette, and that's that's a bit a bit steep. You know, this one at one eighty is 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 all right to start it off. So would I do it again? One hundred percent. Would I do toys? Definitely not. Uh, just too much that can go wrong. So it was a learning curve. I've enjoyed it slightly. Um, but, yeah, don't be following in my footsteps. Don't probably go for a toy one unless you're 100% like into it and we could probably repair some bits. Um, you know, like three of the swimming pools that are out there are just redundant. You know, they can't, they can't do anything. So it is what it is. But I hope you liked this video. You know, I said I was going to do it and I've done it. Um, Made some money, so that's all that matters. I've got my money back. 
plus some more. So we're all happy. Um, yeah, so I hope you liked this video. If you did, hit the like button, hit the subscribe, and over and out from a Celine Dan. Thank you.